What is loyalty? We came up with the definition, a couple of my friends, uh, leaders talking about loyalty properly. Here's the definition we came up with. A properly aligned and executed allegiance. Properly aligned and executed allegiance. And so think using that as kind of the backdrop as we're talking, you know, my buddies that lead and own businesses, you know, we want to attract great talent. We want to train that great talent. We want to retain that great talent. Well, loyalties something that we would all talk about. It's like, well, you know, what is it? What does it mean to be properly aligned? Like the, the alignment is proper, right? What does it mean to be properly aligned and executed allegiance? Like that we're all, you know, the way that I'm looking at this is we're all willing to move in that. That doesn't mean that we disagree. One of the things that we talk about in leadership meetings is like, you know, behind closed doors, we can agree to disagree, but when we get out in front of the staff, we're going to be one voice. And so I, I think that's properly aligned. You're going back to alignment, alignment and execution um, and executed allegiance. I mean, that's really an, that is a mouthful. So again, um, properly aligned and executed allegiance. So properly aligned, do we align with each other? You know, we, we, we've used the example of GPS before. It's like if I'm heading to Columbus and you're heading to Lexington, we're not aligned and executed allegiance, you know, executed is like the act of doing, right? The, and then the allegiance, I think of like the allegiance to, you know, obviously as the country, the allegiance to the, the, to the company, right? To the, to the person, right? Do you have allegiance? Do I have allegiance to you and do you have allegiance to me? And it's really tough as, as owners, you know, are you loyal? And I would argue that most of you guys are, and then the challenge is that, that many of your team is not loyal to you, right? Or people that fire you that weren't loyal to you. And then you could argue people that you fire, were you disloyal to them? I mean, it's just, it's a complicated issue, but we definitely need to wrestle it. We gotta wrestle it to the ground, right? Because we wanna, we wanna definitely build companies that retain and to retain, you know, I would think that, that, I don't think, I know it's certain, right? We want people to be loyal. We want the way it used to be, right? Back in, you know, 30 years ago where, you know, the, I don't know the majority of businesses that were super loyal to its employees and employees that were super loyal to the businesses. You know, how do we bring that back? What are all the ingredients that are part of this? So I think it, for us, it's, you know, today it was starting with a definition, you know, properly aligned and executed allegiance is the definition that uh, myself and some of my friends are, are working on. And that's not necessarily going to be the final definition, but definitely looking at defining what loyalty actually is. And one of the things that my friend Don Kennedy talks about is a lot of times it's a lot easier to to identify what it's not. Like when, when people are not loyal, it's easier to define than when they are loyal. So anyway, more to come on this, but it's really important as we look to attract, train, and retain talent.